Welcome back to Carrie, uh, Designs by Carrie Ann. So today I'm going to try and recreate a painting, which if you have much experience with uh, fluid art, it's, mm, it's pretty hard to recreate a painting, but I'm gonna try. I've got the same colors, I've got the same size of canvas, uh, that matters. And I think I poured my colors into my pouring cups in the same order, so we'll see. So let me quickly show you what I'm trying to recreate. This is a painting I did several weeks ago. Put this on the front. I called this Coming of Age. And I have it hanging up in my kitchen right now and I'm in love with the colors and the shimmer and even the size. So I thought I'd try and do it again. So yeah, so I've got all the same colors. Try to do the same order. Trying to do the same size of canvas. And so yeah, so I've got my colors in my cup. I've leveled my canvas. I put a base coat of gray um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylics paint on my canvas. And let's see what happens. I've already got tons of bubbles in my um, pour cups, so that's good. So okay, right away I can tell. After I flipped, I've got a lot of dark blue which is probably this uh, Flahalo blue. If anybody knows how to pronounce this, please let me know. I do not know how to pronounce that. Anyway, the blue is showing up kind of uh, predominantly. I'm not crazy about that, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be even cooler than the one I like. So before I started filming, I have been mixing paints and I feel like you don't see many videos of people mixing all of their paints. They might mix a paint, mix some paint, uh, mix one color to show you the um, consistency and the um, percentage of paint to Floetrol, to water, to silicone, whatever they might add, which by the way, I just add, I just have paint and uh, Floetrol in my paints. Um, but I don't think the videos necessarily show you how long it really takes to mix up all of the paints. I've probably been paint, uh, mixing paints for a good hour and a half. And really, my advice with that is just, you know, turn on some nice music, that whatever you like, and start going at it. Because you're gonna invest a little time in that. But it's definitely worth it in the end. Okay, so I have been letting these sit for a little bit. And I see some cells popping up already, just in the overpour from the flip cup. And I wanna see what's underneath, I can't wait. I usually try to wait a little bit. I'm a little impatient tonight, so one, two, three, let's go. Okay, and this guy. One, two, three, let's go. So the other thing that I have new to me tonight is that I finally broke down and bought a um, torch. This is my little torch. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and they had this little package of um, the torch and four creme brulee uh, dishes, which I won't use, but they're super cute. But it was cheaper to buy the set than it was to buy the standalone torch. So yeah, so I got some uh, dishes that, I don't know what I'll put in them. Before um, I got my torch, I had been using one of these little, I don't, I call them, I call them grill biters that's basically what we use them for. But it just takes so long to move through, especially when you have a large painting, it takes so long to move through and pop all the bubbles with this little guy. So I'm hoping that my fancy dancy short torch is gonna make things a little faster for me. Save a little bit of time. So we'll see. All right, so let's, uh, let's test this guy out. I did have a little trouble figuring out how to get it to ignite my torch. So I watched, thank God for YouTube, I watched some videos and figured out that I wasn't holding the ignition button in far enough or long enough to actually make um, the flame ignite. So let's see if I remember how, how I got it to work. Ah, I do, oh my gosh. All right, so, oh, oh no, it's already, it already went out. Little stinker. Ah, there we go. Look at that, why is it going out? Oh, come on. Maybe I'm moving too fast. So in the videos I've watched of people using a torch, I notice that they hold the flame further away from the painting 
than I had been when I was using my um, grill lighter. Well, I don't know. I, it keeps going out. Arr! Let's put it on lock. Okay. Oh my, you can see. Oh my gosh, this works a lot better than that little um, that little grill lighter that I was using. I can see it popping the bubbles. Wow, this is amazing if it would just stay lit. I might have to watch some more videos and figure out what I'm doing wrong, why it keeps going out. Okay, well, uh-oh, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm a little nervous about it. The fire thing makes me nervous. Anyway, I can see that it's popped a bunch of bubbles and I've got some colors that were underneath, the heavier paints, the heavier um, pigmented paints, like the blacks and the, the darker, I have a dark, that dark, um, a <laughs> hollow blue. Gosh, I have to look up how to pronounce that. Anyway, the darker paints seem to be heavier, so um, those fall to the bottom, and I think that popping the bubbles is maybe going to bring them closer to the top and make some cool cells. So, oh my gosh, I love these colors. So I'm gonna do a little tilting and get the rest of these, uh, get the rest of the canvas covered. Oh, this is looking cool. I don't want to lose all these cells that I've got. So I am in the Midwest and um, I did a video a while back about um, the difference in climates and the results that you might get based on a different climate. And when I did that video, I was in the desert. So it was a dry climate versus in the Midwest where it could be humid and a little cooler, obviously but I didn't really see any huge difference in my results when I was in the, the other climate, the more arid climate. But I did a painting the other day and I just had really crummy results. And I thought, oh no, the seasons have just changed here. It's, it's moving into fall and it's actually been a little um, unse unseasonably cold and I wasn't getting any cells. I wasn't getting any cool effects. And I thought, crud, maybe there is a, difference with um, the climate, especially when it gets colder in the Midwest. So this is the second painting I've done since it's gotten a little colder here. It's November and it's a chilly November. Um, but I can say, based on this, I think that I had some other problem that day. I don't know what it may have been, but I didn't get any cells that day and the paint was just blah. Maybe I had a bad mix of paint. Maybe I didn't um, pop the bubbles like I should have. I was using this, you know, that little um, cheap grill uh, lighter, and eh, maybe that wasn't cutting it. This is awesome. I love this. This is fairly close. It's not as light as the other painting. I'm going to stop right now because I tend to have a problem with going too far, not knowing when to stop, but I'm going to stop now. And I'll just bring out that other painting I'm trying to recreate and just show you. Again, so here's today's painting. I'll scoot you down just a little bit, maybe. And then here's my previous painting. You can see it's a little lighter, but of course it's dry and it's also been varnished. So this can have a different sheen than this fr freshly painted uh, image. And I've got a little bit more yellow in here than I do on this one, but I still really like this. I am going with this. Okay. So I would say that my attempt to recreate a painting is a success. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to come up with some cool name and um, I hope you like it. Have a great day. And if you like my videos, please, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and hit that bell. If you want to get notifications when I put a new video up, and otherwise, have a great day, and thanks for watching.